Hey. <laughs> come on, come on. Dale. Try to clap. I wish you try to snap it right Danny freaking caught a bird and he brought it inside the house. Well, I didn't catch him like that. He oh, he, he's so tiny. He actually flew into the lanai and he had no way of getting out, so he was like freaking out. He was at the point already where he just almost he almost let me catch him because he was so tired of flying back and forth. Oh, right back and forth. A bird. A bird. Is it a pájaro? Oh. She's she's curious. Then. There we go. Bye bye, birdie. Hey, hey guys, welcome, welcome to, to a, a day with, with us. us. If you guys are here for the first time, make sure you go ahead and subscribe down below. Also, click that bell notification button so you're notified every time we post a new video because you don't want to miss out. It is a couple days later. I did start this vlog um, packing because we were going to Miami for Danny's dental surgery so i went to miami first before going i had made my appointment a month before the day that we went to miami i have to get my wisdom teeth removed i have to really get all four but right now i'm gonna get one that's been really bothering me hurting me for like the last year year and a half i finally found a place that had decent reviews and it was in miami i called i made my appointment and when i spoke to the girl on the phone you know she took my information took my insurance information and then said okay your appointment is for uh, February 2nd um, and be here as so-and-so time and I said okay cool I'm gonna be coming from Tampa I'm about four hours away I really want to make sure that everything just works out well and she said yeah everything's gonna be good the day before the appointment I called because I didn't get a text or I didn't get an email I didn't get anything so I called and I said hey I have an appointment tomorrow I need to make sure that you know that everything is good um, and just confirming. She asked for my name, my info, and then she said, "Okay, can I place you in a hole?" And uh, right off the bat, I was like, "Oh no!" So I already knew where this was going. So she gets back on the phone and she says, um, "We're sorry, but we actually do not take your insurance." I told the lady I drove like four hours away. I made my appointment about a month ago. I waited about a whole month when I'm in pain, and I really, really like needed this appointment. Long story short, they. They screwed me over, wasted all that time when I could have had this already done. I just found a place here, and now we're on our way to an app. Um, it's really been hurting, and I just dealt with it, dealt with it. Because I just don't like the dentist as far as like, you know, when they try to poke you with the needle and all that. I never liked this since I was a kid. Kind of just stuck away from it, but it's gotten to a point that it's just hurting so bad that I need to get this done. Like, I need to get it done because it's in, I'm in so much pain and if I describe you, like the king. yeah my tooth is I was not gonna say that part but yeah so it just means that we in the car Danny is getting his extraction I stopped by Dunkin Donuts so that I can have some coffee because honestly I am not trying to wait in front of that <laughs> dental office until Danny's done so I'm gonna do like a couple runarounds while I wait for him to finish I am gonna go to Target that way I can buy Zoe some Pampers because she's out of Pampers uh, we literally just left Walmart we ended up not going to Target and I bought her Pampers and I bought a bunch of cute little things that i found at walmart walmart has so many cute baby things i'll show you guys when we get home but we're on our way to go pick up danny he texted me said that his procedure was all done so it was pretty fast i think it took like two hours it didn't actually take as long as i thought it would i'm also really excited guys because um i just
just got off of a business call which I just think it's so crazy because I've been really asking God to bring like more opportunities for me to be able to work from home um, because you know as a mom there's like very minimal things that you can do while having a baby. I don't want to put Zoe in daycare and I don't trust anyone to take care of her so I've been the one taking care of her and obviously I'm like so pregnant but I just got off a business call and this is gonna be like a really big opportunity and I'm really excited about it because it's like right up my alley it has to do with um, the church and it has to do with like uh -oh, helping grow the church and basically like doing what I'm like good at which is like editing videos and just making videos and stuff so pray for me that this opportunity goes through. They actually contacted me, I didn't contact them. They heard about me from a job that I did. Okay, so I'm literally pulling up here at the dentist. Let me move this diaper back. Dang, so they really did that so fast. I didn't cut right, I told you. Oh, pressure. Yeah, that's what I remember, that it was just a lot of pressure, but it didn't hurt. Um, they haven't really got me twice, so. They what? They haven't really got me twice. Hello! <gasps> <laughs> He's like, what's in your <laughs> mouth? Yeah, they didn't know really, uh, no straw, a lot of racing. Dude, I'm so happy that you got that done. Are you happy? Okay. Amen. Praise God. Hey guys, so we're back home. I made some chicken noodle soup for Danny, and I wanted to show you guys the cute little things that I found at Walmart for Zoe. Look at how stinking cute this is. So I found these, and like the line of Walmart, it's like the little mini princesses, and I got her every single one. Like I got her every single princess, and she already opened two of them. She picked two of them, and she, she opened Snow White and Moana. I just think they're so adorable. They have like all of them. I also got her these little white shoes from Walmart that are so adorable. And then I also got her these little metallic ones. And I got her Walmart pair. And are these little brown ones. And I also, ugh, last but not least, besides the Pampers, because you guys know I went to Walmart to get Pampers because this little girl was out of Pampers. I also bought her this little shirt. Look how stinking cute this is. With these little shorts. And then this other little shirt that I thought was really cute. Let me show you guys Zoe's fit right now. I think she looks so cute. Her outfit's a little big on her, but she still looks really cute. And by the way, Danny's recovering like really fast. He took out the gauze and he's been like rinsing his mouth with salt water. And he, he has no gauze on right now. He's been talking. He even went to like go give a quote for his job and everything. And he's like, Look at Zoe! <laughs> And look at Danny, he's like acting like if he didn't get surgery or anything, he's doing the dishes. I've begged him so many times to sit down and rest. And then I also made him some homemade chicken noodle soup with shredded chicken. It's thick. Yeah. Oh my goodness, I wanted to show everybody your outfit. Say hi. Oh. <laughs> she grabbed the camera and said hi. Oh my goodness, look at Zoe's little outfit, how cute! You're so beautiful! Yeah, I think her outfit is literally so adorable. It's still a little big on her, but it still looks so cute! It still looks so cute! It's from Zara. There's the little baby rumper. <laughs> look at my belly, guys. I am still 26 weeks. I'm huge. <laughs> <laughs> Danny's literally acting like he didn't get dental surgery, bro. I'm like, no, I'm like so shook though that he's acting like he's like perfectly fine. Wait, wait, I want to be pampered, huh? Can you like, can you please make me some platanitos, some rice? You see, this is what I wanted. This is what I was expecting. Okay, guys, so we're gonna go ahead and close out today's vlog right here. Thank you so much for spending a day with us. If you guys like these type of videos, make sure you go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Also, join the family and comment down below. We love you guys so much. God bless you guys. Bye. Mwah. Thank you guys so much for staying to the end of the video and spending a day with us. But before you go, we do have a very important but quick question to ask you guys. Before we ask you that question, I want to let you know that God loves you so much and he has an amazing plan for your life. But God forbid that you were to die this very second. Do you know without a shadow of a doubt that you go to heaven? See, the truth is that no one knows when we're going to die because tomorrow is never guaranteed. You can go to bed right now, lay your head on a pillow, and never know if you'll wake up tomorrow. The Bible says that for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, 
that whosoever believes in him will not perish but have eternal life. The Bible also says, for whosoever calls upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. And you're a whosoever, right? Of course you are. We all are. I'm just going to go ahead and say a quick prayer of blessing over your life. We're going to pray for you guys. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray that you bless whoever's watching this video them and their family with long healthy lives i pray that you make yourself so real to them and you do a quick work in their heart if they have not received you yet as their lord and savior i pray that they do so right now so repeat after me with your heart and your lips out loud dear lord jesus come into my heart forgive me of my sins wash me and cleanse me set me free i thank you that you died for me i believe that you were risen from the dead and that you're coming back again for me fill me with your holy spirit give me a passion for the lost a hunger for the things of God, and a boldness to preach your gospel. I'm saved, I'm born again, I am forgiven, and I'm on my way to heaven because I have Jesus in my heart. Amen. If you've prayed this prayer, we just want to let you guys know, um, congratulations, welcome to the family. Make sure you always run to God and not away from Him because He loves you so much and He has mm -hmm. an amazing plan for your life. We love you guys. God bless you. Bye. Peace. I raise a hallelujah. Yes, it's a